What is up everybody, my name is Pete and I play music. In this box is something awesome from PRS Guitars and if it is what I think it is, it's actually kind of a dream guitar of mine. Something that I've wanted to play for donkey's years. Let's check it out. Blimey, this is a pretty guitar. So this is exactly what I was hoping it was. This is the PRS SE Mark Holcomb signature model and I want to thank PRS for sending this out to me and sponsoring this video. Mark is obviously the guitar player of the mighty periphery. I met him once a few years ago, took a selfie outside their London show that night. Epic photo bomb by Steve Jobs in that photo by the way. So you're probably expecting me to play a bunch of periphery on this, but honestly, as much as I like periphery, don't really know many of their riffs. Except for maybe this one, I'm gonna screw it up I know. probably 90% wrong. Now I am so excited about this because it's a seven string and that's kind of my thing. Six string, that's okay. Eight string, a little too much for me, if I'm honest. Although there are some exceptions, obviously. Seven strings, yeah, that's the sweet spot. The bee's knees, some would say. And anybody that's followed me for a while knows I'm a big PRS fan. My first video on this channel was on my beloved PRS single cut. So a marrying of PRS and seven string is basically perfect for me, in theory, anyway. You see, they've had a few stabs at this in the past and kind of botched it. Back in like 2013, they announced their first seven string model and I was like, yes, awesome. But then I found out it had a 25 inch scale length and I was like, no. They've since remedied that with the newer models, but this, this is the best one so far. So what do we have here? 24 frets, 26.5 inch scale length, maple neck, mahogany body, and this is the version with the walnut cap. And I gotta say, it looks amazing. PRS usually load up their guitars with their own pickups, but this comes loaded with Mark's signature Alpha and Omega set from Seymour Duncan, which is a very nice surprise. Now, I haven't had time to change the string since I got it, so the low string is a little floppy for my liking in this tuning, but you know, it still works. <laughs> You just have to tune the low string a little flat so that it doesn't go sharp when you hit it. I am definitely losing my voice. Oh boy. <clears throat> it's also got a coil tap so you can do all those nice percussive slappy bits, but I'm not gonna do any of that because I'm rubbish at it. So here's a bunch of chugging instead. <laughs> So at this point, you're probably wondering if it gents. And yeah, it gents. Frankly, I'd be gutted if it didn't. But it can do a lot more, so I've got freestyles lined up for you. A bit of gent, a bit of death metal, and a smattering of stoner metal. As usual, a massive shout out to all of my patrons who help make these videos possible. You can get tabs and extras for this and all my videos over on Patreon. Check that out below if you're interested.
So I honestly think this is a dream guitar of mine. A seven string PRS is something that I've long wanted to check out and I think they've totally nailed it. And regardless of whether you're a Remark or Periphery fan, it's definitely worth checking out if you're into seven strings. And after waiting all this time to check out a PRS7, I can safely say I'm not disappointed. I think this is great and hopefully you'll be seeing it in many more videos. All right, that'll do it. Link to this is in the description if you're interested. Subscribe and hit that notifications bell if you want to see more. Patreon is up there. Consider checking that out for tabs and extras. Thank you for watching and until next time, my name is Pete and I play music.